What is up guys? Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to talk about BSC2 and how uh, me and my friends study for it, how we uh, did really good, um, how, how we used Anki to study for it. And you guys haven't don't know, BSC2 is going to be one of the most important exam of your uh, uh, pre-clinical year here at SGU. And so determine if you're going to pass term 5 or not, pretty much it's 45% of your grade. It's a cumul cumulative exam. If you guys haven't watched my uh, BSC2 talk yet, go ahead and watch my previous video and uh, I talk a little bit more about that. But today we just going to talk about how to study for it. And we have my two classmates and friends here. Hey, I'm Jackie. Uh, what I want to talk about first is uh, how we use Anki during our clinical use. We have laughing <laughs> up to BSC2. So, um, how do you use Anki, Jackie? So I started using Anki in term 3, which is basically the start of our second year here at SGU. Uh, I basically abandoned lecture and I started fully unsuspending cards that are relevant to the lecture as well as any additional cards as long as I got to at least 100 cards every day new while also finishing those reviews every single day. And when we got into term 4, which is basically sort of connected to term 3, uh, I started unsuspending everything that's relevant to lecture. and. That would basically equate to more than 100 cards new that day, which got overwhelming, but I will always make a point to finish those cards before I do anything else. And I continued that trend and really saw, like, I guess I, I felt assurance after doing that when I go into exams because I never felt like I was in trouble during, during exams. So, Smith, what about you? So, my name is also turn five. Um, so, kind of like Jackie, I started. Uh, my Anki uh, journey in term three because uh, that term you're just really learning uh, bio, bioethics and bio stats and stuff like that and epidemiology so um, I totally just abandoned lecture like Jackie and, and started doing uh, Zanki for um, stuff that we learned term one and term two um, because my whole uh, purpose was to basically score really well on all of the uh, cumulative exams, uh, such as the BSC2. So I just basically made my own study schedule, like, like Jackie, just unsuspending cards as I watched videos uh, corresponding to the, those cards, um, videos like Lightyear and Sketchy and stuff like that. And just make sure you uh, basically just reach your quota of new cards every day and keep up with all your reviews um, yeah so that's pretty much it thanks on so how I have been using Anki is um, I started halfway through term one when we started CPR module and I've been keep doing it ever since and uh, I've been keeping up with my reviews every single day I don't suspend the cards even after the exam is over um, as of this point, I have matured about 75% of the, the Zonki deck and the deck that I'm currently using is Lona Cop and the Zonki uh, Blue Galaxy expansion. So now let's, let's move on to how we study for BSC2. For BSC2, I already had a good foundation because I've been using Zonki ever since term 3. So I didn't do much of any content review uh, or anything like that, so it was just more keeping up with your cards and if you kind of come uh, up with like a concept that you were struggling with when you're doing your cards you would go into like uh, boards and beyond or something and brush up on that concept but other than that I just did Zanki uh, <laughs> every day and also for term five you have an exam the very first two weeks or three weeks or something and um, six, weeks. six weeks yeah six weeks so I basically didn't study or anything for that exam I just kept on doing my own study schedule with my Anki and stuff um, so I basically took a hit for that exam so that I could be more prepared for BC2 it's only worth like 4% of your grade anyways so 8% 8% <laughs> I'm I guess out of us three I think I made a huge mistake I uh, basically stopped doing Anki as much in term 5 only uh, just had some personal stuff going on, so I sort of stopped doing Anki and I did more UO questions, 
which honestly they're great questions but they didn't correlate to the BSc because what the school picks out was basically questions that were very first and second order and that there was nothing wrong with that but that's perfect for Anki and I basically went back and stopped doing Anki I started delaying a lot of cards start things started piling up from my reviews and that was my biggest mistake like I ended up not doing as well as I like in BSc too but like but because of previously doing it, I didn't exactly do terrible like some of our other classmates. So that that helped. But my biggest advice is always keep up with Anki. That was my mistake, and like I that's that's really the only reason why I feel like some of my foundation wasn't as solid because I stopped reviewing. That space repetition was was um, cut off by me. So now I'm like basically paying the price for it now by going hard again on it so that's my biggest advice is to keep following that specifically at least for BSC too so, thanks Jackie yeah so pretty much like what these two guys said I think I feel like for Anki user like us um, our study method didn't really change a lot since we started the term so we started using Anki so for me I literally just do the exact same thing I've been doing every single day since term one where I started Anki I just do my reviews I have a new cards every single day um, I just try to get through my monkey reviews and then I also try to start doing uh, practice questions um, using uh, some kind of bank RX questions or I did some questions from Mboss also I did not do Euro because um, I felt like for me I wanted to get through the RX questions first because I paid for it and I, I didn't want it to go uh, to waste um, I'm going to talk a bit more about uh, how, how I feel with the practice questions and the BSC too uh, later in the segment but that was how I studied I just did monkey reviews uh, cards and then try to get some questions in for the day. So next we want to talk about what we would do differently, you know, if we can go back now um, What would you do Jackie differently? Oh, man. Term one, I would start on key right away Obviously take your time to learn it I would say take a lot of time learning the program because it's a pretty big learning curve and it's actually really confusing so if you join like like a group like for example, if you come to SGU, there's a place there's a Facebook group called SU Anki Peeps. Um, they can really help you set it up. So right away, turn one, I would say start setting up Anki and just slowly on suspending cards. Like like um, get some new cards out every day. Get used to the program, and then when you start feeling more and more comfortable with it, I would say start unsuspending more and more cards relevant to your lecture that day. And then always make sure you do those reviews. And basically, that will just make your life so much easier in second year because. All your cards are going to be unsuspended by the time you take BSC and probably by step. And if you mature all that by then, like I feel like you have a great foundation and you can really just focus on doing questions while just touching up those little things that you're missing in detail with like Boys and Beyond or whatever else you want to use. So I say set up your foundation through Anki. For me, that's what I would want to do because that's all I really know, like how to like learn anything anymore. But yeah, so that's what I would do. <laughs> Much the same thing as Jackie, just a little different. Um, I definitely would start Inky early, like day one, uh, term one. I, I didn't want to do that because when he started, he didn't really teach me how to do Inky. This guy just like kept it in the dark. He was just I would just see him doing flashcards. I'm like, what are you doing, bro? Just trying. He didn't want me to do better than him, that's why. But anyways, so I just like study like a normal person, do pre-read lectures, go to lectures, and then post-read. I mean, I did really well term one and term two um, but that that didn't really stick with me the information I forgot like when we went home for vacation or whatever I forgot everything that I learned so that's why I started um, doing Anki term three but however if I could go back I'll start term one because then all that time studying won't be a waste it's gonna be um, in you know my knowledge based on space repetition right so start earlier uh, second thing I would do is prepare for any breaks or hiatus from Anki because you know that you're gonna go on like your Christmas break you're gonna go somewhere in summer like we went on a medical mission trip to Vietnam that was literally like a month of just you know away from Anki we couldn't really spend hours and hours on our laptop doing Anki so I think if, if you can prepare for those um, breaks by like Using apps like the what's what's the app called the pushback app? Don't know. Postpone cards. Postpone cards. It'll postpone your cards, kind of push it back. Just prepare for those days that you you can't do it because your reviews are gonna pile up. 
And then when you see it, it's like a thousand, two thousand, five thousand, it's very um, discouraging and you can feel very burnt out and then you'll stop doing your reviews. So that's what happens to me. That's my next thing that I would do differently is that um, be prepared to be burned out, okay? And, and, and know what to do in those situations. So when I was in term five, like right now, I was really burnt out because I've been doing Inky like every single day. Reviews are piling up. And then I went into like, um, basically not depression, but like <laughs> kind of, yeah, I just played video games like for eight, nine hours a day. Um, but I still did my reviews. So that's why I was still able to uh, do really well in the BSC too. So that's why I'm saying Inky really works. But if, if I could go back, I would not play video games because then I would do way better. Um, but you know, that's, that's the choice I made. Yeah. So. If I can go back and how I, what I would do differently to start a BSC too, guys, is that um, I would literally would not spend my time doing practice questions and just focus on finishing uh, the new cards from uh, Zonki that I have not done. Uh, because as we as uh, if you guys know that your school is not going to go into every single details and first aid and boards specific stuff. So there was a lot of cards. That's why I only matured like seventy percent of Zonki at the time. So that's why there's a lot of cards I still have not learned and seen. Um, so what I wish I've done is spend more time doing new cards and try to finish those uh, those cards specifically before the BS BSC too. Instead of trying to fit my time in doing uh, practice questions, as like upper termers and like upper classmen told me to do and told all of us to do. Um, yeah, so just remember that like one, one thing where might work for others might not work for you and it, everything that we're saying and upper term is telling you, you know, you gotta find out what's gonna work for you. What we would recommend, uh, specific turn one to four and then turn five. Specifically for turn one to four, I put some notes down here is that uh, pretty much what we've been saying, you try to start doing cards on subjects you already cover. Uh, I know there's two ways of, of using Anki. Um, you can use it to learn, but then you can just use it to review. And I think a lot of people will benefit more from doing the reviews. So I think if you're gonna just start out, especially turn one through four when you're still early. If you already learn cardiophysiology, unlock the cardiophysiology deck and just start doing cards from there. You know, don't do a hundred cards. Don't try to keep up with lecture because you already finished it. You already went through everything. Use Anki as a reviewing tool because that's the whole point of doing Anki. Is so you can remember this information. Uh, two years from now, or one and a half years from now, or like a year from now, that you won't have to start with a blank slate. I would recommend that you start slow. Probably just start with 20 new cards per day, but make sure you unlock unlim unlimited reviews so you can try to finish all your reviews every single day. What if you hate flashcards and Anki just doesn't work for you and you tried it before? I'm gonna tell you that Anki is more than just a flashcard application. It is a way for you to retain information for a long term. And using space repetition is one of the best tools out there for you to retain info using space repetition. Term 4, so you have ever thought about using Anki to review for BSC or Step 1? Just start now. If you even like, have a thought about using it, just start now because I cannot tell you how many Term 5s came up to me while I go to the uh, Anki group and just ask, how do I start using it now? How do I um, start? Uh, using Anki into my studying. I, I'm gonna tell you that if you ever thought about it, just start now. Don't wait. I mean, one through yeah. four use cards. If you're starting turn five and you have like a really good sound foundation, like honestly, if you first year you got like 90s and like 95s or something, or even like you know 85s and you're doing DES and you're always teaching people, you're reviewing. So, like, then you consistently do that. Then I say, like, and you really want to jump into Anki, then you can do it for the things you really need help with. And I wouldn't really stress about trying to start Anki on stuff that you clearly have a good foundation on because that's just pointless. Like you, you're doing it, you're figuring it out in some way. So I would say like for turn fives, I want to start Anki late. Just focus on the stuff that you really can't memorize. And like a suggestion I give for some people is just like, oh, do LOL not a copy because that's like micro and like farm stuff. That's basically just memorizing. And like if you need help with it, then use it because you, you always review that every day, right? So. I think for turn fives to do that, but turn ones and four, um, I mean, if you start figuring out that you can learn with Anki and like review with Anki, I would say start getting used to that because I think it's a great way to review without actually having to teach people or read first aid all the time, which may not work, which may or may not work for you. So I say if you really figure it out, I'll figure it out, but 
if you're not like getting like 90s, there's no reason you shouldn't be, I feel like, not doing on key because like you need to clearly see that review because you don't know the information as well as the, your classmates that are getting better scores, unfortunately. Like it sucks, but like, you know, you need more review than them. So maybe consider using Anki. If you've gotten this far in the video, and you're still unsure of like if I want to do Anki or not. Let me just tell you my statistics, okay? So on BSC 2, I got an 84%, okay? And I got a 48% on my first exam for turn 5 because I just did Anki. But anyways, my point is that I literally did not study at all any lectures at all, just doing my cards. And on top of that, I was playing video games for eight hours a day in turn five. Just tell him how. Yeah, he was the uh, top <laughs> of his guild. Yeah, I was playing this game like World of Warcraft, whatever. It's an, it's one on the mobile, okay? World of Kings. If you want to see, it, no, play like, the no, game. don't. Okay, so like, ruin his. Oh, like, grab my wrist when I was deleting his. <laughs> but app, like, so don't do it. I was still able to score eighty four percent on that test. Why? Because I did Anki ever since term three like religiously every single day so even if i was in turn five and not really doing all my cards it was still um there in my brain like i still retain that information because i've been doing it for almost a year or more than a year so that just proves how strong inky was so imagine if i kept it up and didn't play video games i would would have scored way higher so like that's what i'm trying to uh work on right now because our step is coming up in like 90 days, 93 days or whatever. Um, so I cut back on my video games and just, you know, go back to my whole uh, schedule again. But yeah, that's just how strong Inky is. It's, you don't have to stress out on tests at all. Yeah. Now on the other end of the spectrum, I didn't do as well as I like on BSC. I was pretty <laughs> pissed. So yeah, that was because of lack of Anki and then the delay add-on, which was like, <laughs> One of the worst things that happened to me this term, along with like some other stuff. So, yeah, it's Pandora <laughs> box, man. Yeah. All right. So for the turn fives, I'm gonna tell you guys that if you have not started Anki, that's okay. Um, and at this point, don't worry about finishing an Anki deck, like with 20,000 cards, 15,000 cards. That's not, not gonna be your priority. You can still do well in BSC too. Just trust in what you've learned. What I would recommend is that you should use um, Anki to memorize farm and micro, which is. Those two can be easily done by the time BSC two hit, and it's gonna be you know memorization heavy, which is perfect for what Anki you want to do. Um, you don't have to go to physiology card or Pantheon cards. Uh, I would say do Lona and Cop um, for micro and uh, Zonki Farm or Pepper Pepper Farm, um, and then if you finish with those before, then you want to do more stuff. I recommend using um, the first A deck. I'm gonna go through all the decks uh, after this section. But for, for turn 5, don't worry about trying to finish a deck. Just try to get, I recommend trying to finish um, the micro and the farm decks so that you can do well in BSC too because there's a lot of first and second order questions. I'm going to talk about some deck options out there. Uh, so for turn 1 to, to turn 2, uh, I recommend that you want to start uh, using Zonki. Um, with the Anking overhaul, I, would I will leave the link in the description for all of these to get it. So one or two, you can do Zanki with the Anki overhaul. He retag everything. Um, cheesy Lightyear. It's a it's, it's a Lightyear deck that's with a better tag system, and it lines up with watching Boards and Beyond. Um, so you can just watch a Boards and Beyond video and uh, unlock the Lightyear cards. You turn turn four, turn three. Um, again, I also still recommend Zanki Anki overhaul, um, and. You can still finish it at this point if you really commit it and do a lot of cards. Or are you okay with not finishing the deck by step one if that's what you decide to do? Uh, also, Cheesy Light, you'll be fine for that too. Another deck I recommend for you turn four is a Hoopla First first Aid Flashback deck that's only has about 15,000 cards and it literally just every single backs and First Aid in Anki form. And it has less cards than Zanki in the other decks, so you can probably finish it by the time you hit step. For turn 5, Lona and Cop or Micro, Zanki Farm or Pepper Farm for Farm. Or you, another option you can do is Sozi, which is uh, based off Boards and Beyond. It only has 3,000 ish cards, so you can definitely finish that. Um, but it doesn't have every little details like Lightyear does. Um, 
or you want to do a deck, you should pick a subject that you're weak in, let's say Zonkey, and you feel like you need to brush up on CPR, you can just start doing the, the cardio and pulmonary cards. And, uh, some other decks I recommend is definitely make sure you finish the 100 high you and enemy concept deck. Uh, that's a must do. Uh, anatomy shows up on VSC too. And uh, another option you can do is Pixarize Biochem. And that's a deck that I never thought about, I never knew. But I wish I started doing that instead of Zonkey Biochem because it has little sketchy pictures for your Biochem pathways. I don't really have a recommendation for a deck, I just have a recommendation of sticking with one deck. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, you, oh, can yeah. Tell, you can tell everyone about your experience. Yeah, I went from doing Zanky to Lightyear, to back to Zanki, to Zozi, and now I'm back to Zanki. But all that switching um, basically wasted a lot of my time. So if I just stick with one, like Zanki, then I would be done with a lot more cards than I am right now. I'm just like at 50%, so um, yeah, just stick with one deck. Yeah, I don't think any of the decks are bad, honestly. Just stick to one and make sure you commit. I think that's the only the issue with Monkey. It's like, if you're not committing, and if you're not like, doing it honestly like if you're saying like you know the card when you don't like you're not gonna you're probably not gonna do all well. like because you don't know the information that's just you know this is bs it's not it's, it's not true to yourself um i love on like keep doing on keep but like i i would i personally like doing questions so i say if you have time at the end of the day honestly add it in to see if you're actually applying that on key information into questions uh like Tim was saying RX is a great option, I think, to like assess that right now. U World is definitely more in depth, but um, I say focus on Anki and then see if you can apply it to questions, whichever one you choose. There are a lot of different ways to study for, and you definitely don't need to use Anki if you do one BSC2. There's plenty of people in our class who did not use Anki at all, and they still crush BSC2. This is just our experience, how we, how we, we, how we did well on BSC2. Um, if you are going to start using Anki, it's better to start early and slow than to start late and try to cram everything in. So, if you ever thought about doing it at all, just please, just start. Do like 10, 10 cards a day. You won't regret it. Um, and then the third point is don't worry about finishing certain decks to do well in BSC2. I finished 75% of the deck. He only finished 50%. Same with Don. So he finished about 50% too, but um, you know, like, he still did really good. Um, so. You don't have to finish certain decks, so don't feel bad if at this point you're like, oh, I'm not getting through Zanki in time. Don't worry about it. Just trust in your ability. You've gotten this far. Okay? So, um, that's what we have for you. If you have any questions or further comments, leave it in the comments below. Let me know what you guys want to watch next. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I'll try to answer as best as I can. Uh, and look out for my next video. Make sure you subscribe. If you like these kind of contests, let me know. Um, hit the like button. And until next time, see you guys later.